For this lesson, first grade, we are going to look at the place value of tens and ones in each two-digit number. So, for instance, if I have the number 25, how many tens would I have in the number 25? Two. Two. So how do I draw 10 very quickly? A line. A line. So how many am I going to draw? <coughs> one, one, two. Two, two lines. Yeah, two. Because it says two. One. Okay. How many extra ones do I have? Five. So all you have to do is draw five circles. Because it says five. Does this show the same number as this? Yes. 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 Mathematicians, how can I check myself? Count them. Can you count them with me, please? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Is that this number? Yes. It is. So are we right? Yes. yes. We are right. Very good. Okay, I want you to go ahead and go to the next number, which is 50. And I want you to do a quick draw of 50. Go. What did you do? How many? Five what? Five lines to show what number? To show five? To show 50. Very good. Notice that the number 5 and the number 50 are very different. Okay, so this is how we show 50. If I have the 0 after the 5, I have to write it. Does everyone see that? Because if I don't write the 0, what number is it? Five. It's just 5. Is this the number 5? No, it's not. It is the number 50. So, first grade, when I'm looking at the number 50, I want you to raise your hand. What number or which digit is in the tens place? The five. So, that tells us we should write how many tens? Five. And we did that, right? Which number is in the ones place? You are exactly right. A zero is in the ones place. So, how many ones am I going to draw? Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's none. There's nothing. Right? Zero. Zero. So because if I have a, a number, it's zero, it's nothing. That's right. If it says zero, nothing. Okay? That was pretty easy. Okay, now I want you to go down to this number. Who can tell me what this number is? What is that number? It is 52. So I want you to draw, quick draw, 52. Wonderful. Who can tell me what they did? What did you do? You just made 10 lines for 10. How many lines? Five. Okay, five lines for the tens because there's five tens. Okay. And then you just made two circles for the ones. Very good. You saw the two in the ones place, so you drew two circles. Did everyone do that? Very good. Now look, first three. This number up here is 25. This one is 52. They are just same numbers, but they're switched around. Oh, and you flip these flipped, isn't it? But it doesn't make a difference? Yes, it does. Look at this picture up here. Doesn't it look a lot different than this picture down here? Yeah, yeah, it does. They just applied the circles and then the circles into tens. You're exactly oh, right. My tens, there I have more tens in this number and less 
tens in this number, but I have less ones in this number and more ones in this number, okay? So you have to be careful. It does matter the way you draw it, okay? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I like that you noticed that. There is a five in every single number, but is it in the same um, place value spot? No, it's not. It kind of switched around a little bit, didn't it? Okay. Very good. Yes, sir. Um, I, the, the two, the top one and the bottom one, they, they're just the same number, so I switched them. Okay, very good. So my question is, which number is bigger, 25 or 52? It is 52. How do you know 52 is bigger? Because um, 45 is just, it's just, you you just take away, from the 52, you just take away three tens, and then there's only two. Okay, so I have more tens down here, right? I have more tens, so if the more tens I have, then the bigger the number is. Okay, very good job. You guys are being very observant mathematicians this morning. Okay, I have a little challenge. What if my picture looks like this? What number did I draw? That's not all of it. Seven? Three. Eight. What number did I draw? Um, 34. He's right. Does anyone know how he got 34? How did he get 34, guys? Hey, um, he paying attention. Hey. How did the line and the 10, they counted the, the 7.21? You're exactly right. Even though they were all mixed together, it kind of looks like he dropped them on his desk, right? And so they're kind of intermixed together, but that's okay. We always start with what first? The biggest one. The 10s, the biggest one. So we counted all of the 10s first. How many 10s did he have? Three, so he wrote three first. Then he counted what? Four. The circles. The circles. How many circles did he four. have? Four. He had four circles, so then he wrote the number four, and he ended up with the number thirty-four. Okay. No, that's not right. So we're not talking about that. Okay. We're talking about tens place. I'm gonna do one more, and I want you to see in your brain if you can figure it out. Okay, everyone ready? Do I want you to shout it out? Nope, I don't want you to. Okay. Do you have the number in your brain? What number did I draw for spring? 45! Wow! You're exactly right. I drew 45. So do you understand the difference between the tens place and the ones place? And the tens place is always going to be on the left, and the ones place is always going to be on the right. Does anyone have any questions?